since many people, mostly females, post thirst traps in the gym, would you support men only slash women only gyms for the entire panel? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll start off with like, yeah, I would love that shit. Because, I mean, personally, I want a conservative girl. I would love for my girl to wear hijab, et cetera, et cetera. I'm very territorial, right? I don't, when you're at a gym, I don't know about other guys, but like, bro, you're going to look at the girl. Just, I mean, she's wearing short shorts, some tight shit. Like, you're going to look at her ass. So if my girl's going there, and I know guys are going to look at their ass. Like, why would I want that, right? So I would love, you know, only women gyms. That's just my personal take on it. <laughs> uh, what about you, Spence? I enjoy seeing females at the gym. My <laughs> testosterone spike even higher than it already is. Um, but you know what? Like, and I don't mind my girl wearing some sexy ass shit to the gym if I know that she's just for me. And you know, if any other guys looking at her, that she don't give a fuck. Because I mean, honestly, I'm the biggest guy in the gym anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But like, yeah, if some guy looks at you, you're like, you know, babe, like that guy's looking at me, go kick his ass. Like that's the type of shit that I want. Mm. So like, my girl can look hot as fuck anywhere. I don't care about like what she wears, what, like what she does, okay. as long as I know, mm -mm. and she shows me that she's for me then that's cool you're secure in yourself i, I, I fuck, fuck with, with that. that i fuck <laughs> with that <laughs> i fuck with that yo he just <laughs> yo that, <laughs> he just called everybody that's really like oh, no, that makes me insecure nah spencer's just okay with that i have Bro, different listen, standards he's secure i hate i hate that's, that doesn't mean i'm insecure that means i'm just territorial Adri adriana no, that has nothing to be Adri adriana insecure. i have to i have to talk to you about this okay him being that's his preference that doesn't mean he's secure now two things can be right he, he is secure. Cool. But I'm saying if a guy doesn't think like that, it doesn't mean he's insecure. Right. Like. Logic is logic for me. If my girl is wearing booty shorts, the opportunities of something happening greatly go up because guys out here are desperate. Some guy might say some slick shit. Now I got to smack the shit out of him. Exactly. Some guy might, you know, she might be drinking water. This guy might come up behind her and you know, what I mean? like it's just it, it happens. It happens all the time. Girl, now, my girl going to the club, you, that's the You can't issue. equate a guy not wanting a girl to the dress girl like that. The gym, the club, or Listen, the bathroom by herself. You, you can't equate a guy not wanting his girl to dress like that to being insecure, right? It, it's, it's not fair. Uh, well, yeah, so, like, so women can have standards, but men can? It's not even that, though. Like, if she's got a, a big ass and she's dressed appropriately, the same outcome could happen. So it's just being... It can happen. The probability is uh, lower, though. Um, Correct. If if my I girl's mean, wearing hijab with a fat ass, or her wearing a fucking bikini with a fat ass. Okay, okay. Let's let's talk about like those regular, are the extreme. Like, normal. I, just, I gave you, I gave you the extreme on both sides, right? So you can now play the probabilities of well, both let's sides, talk about right? Normal instead of extreme. So let's keep it at like level, okay. so that way people can get a better you know outcome of like what would happen. Okay. So she's dressed respectfully, okay. and men still want to tap that or get behind that or approach that. It's just normal because that's just her physique. Um, you still have to feel like, you know, oh, I'm going to be there for my girl, whatever, even though she's respecting herself and respecting you out in public. Uh, I have a question for you, Spence. Yo. You said something earlier and you said, if that's my girl, I know she's my girl. How do you know if your girl is truly your girl? Because when we first started off the show, we, were, we, we watched the video and we learned that a lot of women are very sneaky out here. They'll make you think that's your girl. And then as soon as, you know, you guys get into an argument or something happens, uh, she can show you otherwise. So how does a man know if that's truly your girl? Well, that's a that's a good question. That's why I don't have a girl. But, you know, really, like I make a lot of money. But, <laughs> but there's guys out there that make more money than me. But they're like 56 years old, have a ton of wrinkles. And, you know, I know they don't look like me. So I don't really worry about that shit because. Yeah, you know, for like 24 and the money that I'm making and the way that I look, like I don't really think that there's any up upgrade, to be honest, especially because I'm funny as fuck. So like if a girl really likes me and we're vibing and shit, I don't really worry about competition. And if she decides to do that shit, then like, honestly, it's an L for her yeah. because like she can go get with some guy that has like millions of dollars more than me. But like he's probably 50, 60 and has wrinkles. Imagine that on top of you compared to me. Yeah. So I don't worry about it. Like, um, I love the way you answered that. Um, and, and there is a, a, a certain logic to that. Like most men that are like multimillionaires, they're probably pretty old, right? Because mm -hmm. they've had that time to become millionaires. Now, Spence, let me ask you a question. Now that you said that, right? Are you going to leave your McLaren in the hood for a week? Absolutely not. Okay. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the analogy, right? So you're not going to, you know, you have a tracker in your uh, McLaren. You know you could have a kill switch in your McLaren. You know your locks are good. All that shit. Are you gonna watch other people try to break into your McLaren? Well, that's the thing. Like it's know, an analogy, but you understand what I'm saying. I right? can vibe with a girl really well, but I always know, like you know, 
uh, I'm, I'm on my own at the end. I'm playing solos, really. Okay. I mean, unless I like, I really can trust a girl, then it's, it's very difficult. Well, that's just built over time. So do you understand? Like, I don't see that me. Um, that's me being insecure about oh, someone's gonna break into my car. You see what I'm saying? No, yeah, no. Everybody's that's me being just been territorial. Over like, so I'm not gonna times. let that shit happen. You know, people have been fucked over. Everybody here has been fucked over a bunch of times, been by guys, girls. So everybody's got their trust issues. It's like I feel like it's a duration thing. You have to be with somebody and vibe with them and kind of subliminally watch how they move. Everybody's yep. got to watch how people move. Um, and, and it's just like, that's why I don't really fuck with a lot of people because right. you can't really trust people. Yeah. But my thing also with you is Spence that like you manage the girls that you manage and some of the girls that you are hanging with are literally some of the top girls in Miami. Facts. So for you to say something like that is like, you're, you're also not the average guy. So for you to be like, oh, well, you know, it's their loss. Yes. To you, it's their loss. But to the average guy, like that guy might not have another V bunny to go to. Like, <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? watching. my bad, bro. Shout out, to, you know, shout out to V bunny. I see you, man. But you know what I mean? It's like, like you're you're hanging around with girls that have a million plus followers and shit like that, yeah. models. But like the average guy is not hanging out with models like that. Yeah. So he shouldn't be hanging out with models like that. He should be getting in the gym, getting jacked, and should be getting his bread right before you start even talking to any girls. For sure, because then you're just setting yourself up for disaster, you're setting yourself up for heartbreak. But honestly, like that's fine because you need to go through that pain to realize that you're a fucking loser anyway, and that you need to get jacked and get rich and get fucking supercars, and that's what you need to do anyway. So like, regardless, you're still winning if you're a guy. I agree. Yeah, Bro, man. money and status will always beat out respect and love. And listen, man, listen, man. I had a really tough weekend, right, Spence? Yeah. So today, uh, my boy Basil, he like, he he let me have the Ferrari and shit, bro. My fucking adrenaline and, and happiness went like all the way up high. Crazy. Like it, it just goes to show like if you work hard, man, like if you attain those things, like it, it will as a man, that shit will give you the satisfaction. I don't give a fuck what they say. Money don't buy happiness. Fuck that. That's that Ferrari. Oh, you're right. That's that Ferrari, that Ferrari had me happy as fuck, man. You know, so. yeah, just gunning yeah, that shit. You can't right. go outside if you're going in a, in a Ferrari every day. Right. So that's why I say guys like. You know, ultimately, you're born alone, die alone. All you have is yourself in the end. So make sure that you're building yourself up and you can get in your supercar if anyone tries to play with your feelings. It doesn't really fucking matter, right? Word. All right, what's up, man? You got a question? Uh, yeah, I wanted to know when you're, when was your last relationship? Like, actual relationship? I had a relationship for like six years. Okay. Uh, I ended it like uh, probably like four months ago. Oh, my God. Damn, right. six years. You were 18. Damn. Yeah, freshman college. God damn, mm. 18. Bro, it's you're, about, college. College. Bro, yeah, you're about to go into a crazy whole phase. Oh, no, no. I'm he actually sold it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't really entertain that. I remember I just, last time you were here, like, I don't give my body to just any bitch. No, yeah, no, he I did don't. say that shit. <laughs> no. He said, nigga, I'm holy. I, I really don't like to have sex with a lot of people, especially if I don't have an emotional connection with somebody because I just feel like I'm wasting my time, first of all. And second of all, the sex isn't good. And third of all, I don't go out. I don't party and shit. I like to make racks. So, Yo, you know what? You know what's crazy, Spence? The first time I came across you, right? I saw a video of you like at your place counting like a hundred thousand dollars and you were talking about how you live right next to 11. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, bro, I'm looking at the club 11. Like I see all these motherfuckers go on there. They're broke. They come out broke. And I, here I am a hundred K just count. I was like, bro. Oh, and his balcony. I yeah, seen yeah. that shit too. I was like, bro, that shit is, yo, shout out to you, yeah. man. Yeah. Out here winning. Uh, 24 years old, doesn't club. Uh, do you, do you have vices? Do you drink, smoke? Uh, I'll drink when I'm hanging out with like a girl that I really like, you know, we're chilling at the house and stuff like take a couple of shots. That's fun. But, you know, I don't like to go out to clubs and surround myself with people that I don't give a fuck about and they don't care about me. Yeah. And it's just loud. And it's like I can't even talk to people and shit. And it's just or you can't fucking function for like the next three, four days. It's mm -hmm. like an L. I okay. gotta make racks, bro. I think Adriano was trying to shoot a shot at you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. No, <laughs> I was just wondering. <laughs> I was like, just wondering. So you gotta all make right. sure you're single, bro. You're on the market. Yeah, no, single, yeah, I single. just wanted to know. All right, real quick. So, ladies, 